What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just a short video today. We are going to be taking a look at Shua Mene and the rest of the players will be in this series as well. This is going to be a very quick and concise but in-depth training guide for the players that you can get here for free. So obviously these players are available for free with the nominating contracts. You can unlock a free nominating contract in the match pass. But yeah, I've covered that in the review of all the players in depth. But this is more of kind of like taking one player on an individual basis and breaking him down, showing you a complete breakdown of each card, each player. We are going to be starting with Shua Mene here, who goes to a 96 overall. He's got an excellent base level card, as you can see here, 84 DMF. He can play DMF, CMF. He's a box to box. He's got 90 team play style proficiency, 28 levels to go. He looks cool as well. He's got AI playing styles, long ranger and long ball expert, so he's a good passer. And on top of that as well, the player skills that he has, excellent player skills for passing and for defending. So you're going to want to just kind of like boost this guy up extremely balanced, I think, depending on how you want to play him, right? So we have two options for him. He does have unwavering form as well. He is on A rating. I recommend him highly, lads. He is a five-star nominating contract. But just play 15 games in the free match pass and you will unlock a free 5-star nominating contract and then you'll be able to sign him, right? So I do think that he is a monster. If you have a previous version of him, obviously that will be something that you can consider yourself. We'll have a look at the French version in a second of him. But I genuinely think he is an excellent free player. One of the best they've released and he's up there with Declan Rice, Felix and Simmons, I think, as well as uh, the rest of the boys they've released in this pack as well. We have two options to train him, right? So here we are with our first option, which is an offensive-minded Shuamene. Now, this guy is going to be maxed out as best as we possibly can with speed, physical contact, a little bit into tackling, and aggression. Right, look, you're not going to want to... I see a lot of people, right, and they'll be saying, well, you know, his passing isn't high enough, his this, his that isn't high enough. I genuinely think, right, you're not going to want to turn a player like this and you're never going to be able to turn a player into the, like this, into somebody like Pedri or Xavi or somebody like that that's going to have low center of gravity, that's going to be able to, you know, dart in and dart out. This guy is a powerhouse. He's a box-to-box, -box, you know, covers every blade of grass type of player. So, you know, completely, like, not boosting up his defense stats, even an offensive build of him, if you're going using him as a CMF box-to-box, -box, like Goretzka or somebody like that, like, you definitely need to still let a little bit into your defense here, right? Because you're not going to get any alternative better, um, you know, like, or a better alternative to him putting in, like, if we take out four out of defending and we pump one more into dribbling, it's not going to make or break the card going forward, you know? Whereas if we have four in defending here, it brings his tackling and aggression up. So even though this is the offensive build, paired with the player skills, the AI styles, and the rest of his stats, I think this is a very good box-to-box -box offensive build. If you are looking for somebody in the mold of, you know, Goretzka going forward, rather than being a complete defensive-minded player, if you're looking for a more balanced or offensive-based player. Now, if you are looking for a defensive uh, version of him, this is the second version that we have here. So it's the same levels, 28 levels, but we have pumped in 12 into defending, and we've pumped 7 into lower body, and then less into pass and dribble and, then, and dexterity. The reason why we're boosting so many into defense is because if we're using the defensive build of him here, we're going to want him sitting in the pocket, you know, tracking runs, intercepting balls. He doesn't have blocker as a player skill, but he does have interception and sliding tackle, as you see here. So that's what we're going to want to do. When we don't have the ball, we want interception and sliding tackle to complement these defensive stats, tackling and aggression. I know some people complain about aggression, but this guy does really suit him. We've got the speed and the stamina to balance that out. We've also got the physical contact. And then when he has the ball, we have 87 low pass, 84 ball control. And then we've got a couple of dribbling and a couple of passing uh, player skills. So I definitely think they're both versions. As we said, this version of him here, the French version, was 84 rated and he goes 25 levels. This one is 28 levels that he goes and it's a very similar card. Obviously, the only difference between this card, the French one, and this one is the tie possession uh, is better, but the passing is worse. So that's just something to keep in mind as well, lads, if you want. I think this is the best version of him that they have released, depending on how you train him up. So that is it for this. It's just very quick videos getting straight to the point. I give him a massive thumbs up, lads. Genuinely, a massive thumbs up if you are looking to train this guy up when you do buy him. One of the best five-star uh, nominating contracts that they have released. I will talk to you later. Don't forget to check out the other videos in this series. And next up, we do have The Beast. That is Sergio Ramos.